this is the metropolis of Beatrice, Nebraska, wastewater treatment plant. Uh, we have design average flows of about uh, one and a half to three MGD. Uh, it's an RBC plant. Um, the composting we do is our whole sludge treatment period. Uh, we've been at this 13, 14 years. Um, the city fathers and all their wisdom decided that uh, we were going to take grass and leaves and try to loosen up our landfill a little bit. So we do that. We, uh, we do all the grass, the leaves, uh, brush chips um, generated in the city and whatever's hauled in. Um, we've had class A compost uh, since the first 503 sludge regs. Um, we got a brown bear uh, two and a half, three years ago. Uh, it's taken one man out of our operation, all the overtime out of our operation, and it's working great. Our, our sludge is a primary or secondary sludge. Uh, it's run over a belt press, it's dewatered, uh, time we take it to the landfill, uh, it's roughly 20% solids. Um, there we mix it with the grass, we mix it with the leaves, we mix it with the brush chips, whatever's available. Um, we basically do what the 503 sledge regs require us to do. Uh, it has to be turned five times, 15 days. It has to maintain a, a temperature above 55 degrees centigrade. Um, we try to do that for 30 to 60 days instead of the uh, required 30 days. <laughs> bears made it easier. It mixes faster, uh, gets a better mix. Uh, winter or summer, we've had no problems. Uh, we have two sites that we have a pile or compost site that we give away. We have a recycling center where people bring grass and leaves, bottles, whatever, and uh, they can haul whatever they want home with. Um, we've been real fortunate uh, every year since we've started this, we've been able to give away everything that we've made and could probably give away more. In the wintertime, we lay down a bed of uh, leaves or brush chips, whatever we have, and put a layer of sludge on it and put another layer of leaves or brush chips or whatever, and we just keep doing that all winter until nice spring days start coming, and then we break it out of the pile and start the process. Uh, into the 503 sludge regs, class A sludge. Um, it's worked great for us. We've had a couple of real wet years, and we probably put out somewhere in the neighborhood of 100,000 yards of compost with the grass and leaves. Before we bought the bear, we had two guys in the operation, and that was their total job. Uh, they worked uh, most of the time eight to 10 to 12 hour days, five and six days a week. After we bought the bear, uh, we got one guy in the compost operation. Uh, he's at that eight hours a day, uh, five days a week, no overtime. Uh, it's cut our operation in half, basically. I, I think you're allowed, what, 1,000 or 2,000 most probable number grams per liter or whatever of fetal coliforms. Uh, we've never had more than seven. Not thousand, seven. And uh, out of the seven samples last year, uh, we only had two, that one was three and one was seven. And the year before we had one that was two out of seven samples. And most of the time it's zero fecal coliforms. Um, and it is cleaner than dirt. You're gonna find more fecal coliforms in dirt than you do in our compost. five-gallon bucket in their trunk for their garden, for their flowers. Uh, we have landscape people that use it. Uh, the city parks department uses it in their tree nursery. Um, everybody uses it.